All right, now you have on your graph paper an outline of the block itself. So these are the, this is the parameters of what your cars can look like. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna draw the places on the block that we're gonna cut off, okay? For this portion of your drawing, this is no longer a freehand exercise, okay? Your conceptual drawing, you just drew it um, off the top of your head with no tools or anything like that. You just used a pencil and paper. For this drawing, I want you, I want all of your lines to be clean because what you're drawing here is what the car is actually going to look like. Now, if my car actually looked like that, it would look like a piece of junk, to be frank, right? That's a junky looking car. This is not gonna be junk. Every straight line that I draw on this drawing, I'm going to use a ruler to draw it, okay? Because I want that line to be dead straight because, because whenever I cut it, I want it to be dead straight. So I'm gonna use my ruler whenever I'm drawing any straight lines. If I'm drawing curved lines, I want those to be clean as well. Now here in class, we have um, some of these objects. They're called French curves. Now I don't know if you can see those on the video because it's clear but I can use these French curves. We have a bunch of different ones. And they have different surfaces that you can use to trace out curves. So if I'm putting a curved line on my car, like let's say uh, looking down at my car, I wanna take out some material here. I can take my French curve and set it where I want it and just trace it out, just like that, okay? And then what that means is that I'm cutting this piece out, okay? And what I may want to do with that is on my, if I'm cutting that out, I want to know from the side view where that is. So I can just line my ruler up. If I've lined up these two, these two pieces, I can just give myself a little indication there of where that cutout is so that I know that there's going to be material missing right there, right? That the car's going to be narrow right there if you're looking at it from the top. Another thing that I need to consider whenever I'm doing this is that where the wheels are gonna go. So on your design, where, what I want you to do for the wheels is I want you to just add a dot where you want the wheels to go. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill through the wood and we're gonna put an axle through the wood, just like that, to mount the wheels, okay? Now, where that axle is, is gonna have consideration for both views in our design. So if I, if I decide I wanna put my axle right here, then if I'm looking at the car from the top, that axle has to go all the way through the block. So I'm just gonna take that point and I'm just gonna translate it down here with the dotted line. That's just telling me not to take the material out here. I don't wanna take this material here because the car has to be as, as wide as the block where the wheels are mounted. So at the front, at the front and the back, where the wheels are mounted, the car needs to be as wide as the block. So it'll, so your car may end up looking like this. This, is, this was my design, okay? Where the wheels are mounted, you can see it's as wide as the block is. I can take out material in, in between, I can take out material at the front, I can take out material at the back, but wherever I decide to put my wheels, it needs to be as wide as the block, okay? So, so consider that in your design. So at this point now, take your concept and draw it neatly and cleanly on your paper inside of this block. Um, and then, then the drawing that you make here is gonna be the actual, the drawing that you're gonna use to cut out your car. And I'll tell you about that in the next step.